Welcome back to another video on the channel and today we are back. It's the start of pre-season. I'll go back off their Marbella uh, Spanish pre-season tour. So that means it is back for our yearly fixture against Plymouth Parkway. Plymouth Parkway versus Plymouth Argyle tonight at the Belifrial Ground. Last time out against Parkway on the 2nd of July 2022, we, we drew 2-2. With two last-minute equalisers from Ryan Hardy and Joe Edwards coming in the last 10 minutes of the game. Before that, a 5-1 win on the 3rd of July 2021. A win like that tonight will bring my hopes up for the rest of this preseason, going into probably the toughest league I've ever seen Argyle face in the Championship. The summer activity, obviously the windows open. Argyle have been active, bringing in four players, first being Julio Plegazulio, I'll probably butcher his name, I will not lie, but he's coming in on a two-year deal from FC20 over the pond in, in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Next one is Kane Kiesler Hayden on loan from Aston Villa. Big thoughts from him from Villa fans saying he should be challenging cash in the Premier League this year. So excited to see him over the course of the season. Next one is Lewis Gibson coming from Everton on a free. And the other one coming in today from Celtic, Connor Hazard, goalkeeper on a three-year deal on an undisclosed fee, but I've heard reports about £150,000. You know, could that be a gateway to Burton or Cooper? Who knows? But we've also had some outs. We've had uh, James Wilson, Niall Ellis and Danny Mayer all depart the club after the promotion season. But without saying that, without further ado, it's nice and sunny tonight. I've got a new home kit on. Let's get into the peripheral ground and hopefully see some of these new players beat Parkway tonight. Come on, you go. In the ground, lineups are out. It's a positive lineup, very strong bench to have. I'm joined with the boys from the Argo Way, Liam, Arv. Right. School predictions tonight, boys. Um, I'm going to say 3-1. Uh, 4-0 four, four for me. 4-0? Yeah. The yeah. school predictions from, from Liam and Harvard on the Argo Way. Joined with Benjamin and the dad, the usual, all wrapping the, uh, the, the new shirt. Obviously, Parkway is never, never the most uh, biggest game for an Argyle fan to go to. But Ben, two predictions. I think it's going to be two 0 Two 0 Three 0 Argyle. I'm going to go four one. Quick beer review as kickoff is going. Three pound. Average point. Go for your co-op. Kickoff is here. Let's get into it. Position, you know, is, is not the best, but we take what we can get. Hopefully, see see a good run out from the boys. Oh, right. Good. This 
half time, score one nil our goal, Ben went goal early in the, well straight away basically fifth minute in. Only slight worry is that Ben Wayne did have a, uh, he did go down after number five did, did play a couple nasty challenges I would say, he is on the yellow card now. Um, yeah, we've dominated the game as of expected, Parkway's only have one chance which you did see. They did have quite a close chance for that one chance but the main thing is we are 1-0 up. Um, but yeah, yeah, the, obviously possession a lot of the ball, a lot of the plays coming down uh, Julio Pagasulo's side with Tyreek White. Um, so yeah, obviously it's going to be a change of the lineup now in the, in the second half as, with, with all the changes. Look, good to see some of, some of the other faces coming on the regular faces, Randall, Hardy, Scar, etc. But yeah, let's get into it. All good. Right then, full time now, Argyle 2 Parkway now. A uh, solid result come, uh, come into the start of the friendlies coming back from, from the summer. Um, yeah, a lot of positives. I think the team pressing sure he's knocking down the structure there with, with teams playing out from the back. Parkway played out from the back tonight um, at times and it showed with a team press there was something going on there. Obviously, playing out from the back is a popular style of play across, across English football and across world football and it probably will be shown it in most or, or if not 
nearly all English teams in the championship, apart from a few. Um, but yeah, obviously, like I said, there's, you know, first came back after the summer back in England and you can see that the team needs a bit more uh, sharpness needed before the start of the season, which is expected. Um, but yeah, two goals, obviously Ben Wayne and Ryan Hardy both getting on the score sheet. Both close to, to either sides of the half, one in the fifth, fifth minute, one in the 85th. So it's, it's always a, it's a step in the right direction. We move on to Torquay now on Tuesday. The dad won't be there. Me and Ben, well, I will definitely be there. Ben will most likely be there. And you might see some of the boys from the Argyle way like you did earlier. Jack will most likely be, be there. Um, but yeah, so we move on to that. Positive first game. Happy to be back in, in, involved with the, with the football and seeing Argyle play. Uh, excited for next Tuesday. Forest Green, I'll be there. Salford, I'll be there. Forest Green, the dad won't be there. Me and Ben will be going to that one most likely. Salford should be the return of the dad after a couple of games out. And then after that, obviously, we've got the big one, Huddersfield, uh, at the at the theatre of Greens. And that's the start of the championship. Can't uh, tell you how nervous I am for it. I think I'm more nervous and excited purely on the fact that it's going to be such a difficult league. I've already explained how I think that this league's going to be the most difficult league I've ever seen Argo play in. And uh, if, if we do manage to survive, it'll be a massive credit to Schumacher and obviously the coaching staff and the players. But we're in for one long season, but I'm all here for it. See you next time. Come on, you greens.